Hey everyone, in this presentation we will discuss about migrating Prometheus data between different storage systems. Before we start, a brief introduction about me. I am Harkishan Singh. I am an active open source contributor to Prometheus Upstream. I live in Bhubaneswar, India and I work as a software engineer at Timescale. I am a maintainer of Promscale, which is a high performance Prometheus data storage built on top of Postgres. That's about me. Let's begin with the topic. Our motivation behind developing a migration tool for Prometheus was that at present there are 27 officially listed remote storage systems for Prometheus. However, there are no good ways to migrate between them. There can be a lot of reasons for migrating Prometheus data, for example, privacy, high cardinality, scalability, etc. The lack of a proper migration tool leaves users with bad choices. They are forced to throw away data in old systems or run two systems parallelly, the old and the new one, or do not go for any changes, which is an example of vendor lock-in. That's why we created Prom Migrator. Prom Migrator supports a wide range of Prometheus compliant remote storage systems. Here is a compatibility table of different storage systems with Prom Migrator. Limitations are of respective storage systems and not of Prom Migrator. Please note that with backfill, we mean pushing data to a storage system that already has existing data than the, than the data being actually pushed. Let's see how it works. Consider a scenario of migration where you want to pull data from the storage on the left to that on the right. Promigrator pulls data in form of consecutive slabs. Each slab contains data in form of a time range. This time range increases with consecutive slabs by a minute. As you can see, after pulling a slab, Prom migrator pushes it to storage on the right and at the same time pulls the next lab from the storage from the left. This is how data is migrated in Prom migrator. Data migrations can be from few megabytes to several petabytes. Prom migrator knows that migrations can be memory intensive. For this reason, Prom migrator aims for a target memory usage in such a way that there is a perfect balance between speed of data migration and the utilization of memory. It follows an additive increase of time range when below the target memory region and multiplicity decrease when the memory usage exceeds the target region. When within the aimed target region, the time range remains constant. Let's understand this better with the graph. We start with the slabs from one minute and go with uh, an increasing order of time, time range. And as we reach target region, the time range is constant. And if we exceed the target region of memory usage, we do a multiplicative decrease, which is by half, which is five minutes. And then we again aim to uh, be inside the target region. Prom migrator can gracefully restart after a failure or interruption. The ability to restart is achieved by pushing a max time of the last slab as a separate time series. This max time is fetched when the migrator starts the next time, which can be after a crash, and it treats that as a starting point of current migration. With this, we achieve our goal of completely stateless working model that tracks progress interactively and can resume migration process in case, in case of a failure or interruption during the migration process. This model has better control on memory in runtime and can migrate faster using concurrent pulling and pushing of data. For more details, we have provided links to our demo video, design doc, GitHub repository, and readme. If you want to try out the tool, please visit the download page over here. For usability information, you can go to the readme of from migrator. Thank you very much for your kind attention.